Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to. <laughs> hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another episode of the Perfect Life Challenge. And look at how sad our Sina looks. She's really, really sad because, unfortunately, someone in the family passed away and she lost a parent which is actually one of the rules in this challenge which really sucks but a lot of you were wondering because i did post a little speed furnish of her new house yes yeah, she bought her first house we are in the los angeles of the sims and it just looks so nice look at all the the lights and stuff like this is just where she's supposed to be where she's supposed to live i know i'm like taking forever to tell you um she lost her dad it is so sad he was retired he finally settled down yes he moved in with sachiko they rekindled their relationship once cena moved out and it's just so awful because yes he did pass away and tell me why she actually begged this is <laughs> this dude cheated death twice because he died originally like the first time and she begged the grim reaper not to take him away and he actually was alive for a day and then i moved her and the family here and then i got a notification saying he was dead so i couldn't even show you guys that or anything i am playing on short lifespan so it just happened if you haven't checked out the speed burnish you don't really have to but this is the place it's very small which i like i should put a light here because it's a little dark this room is already done for when Ren ages up into a child. I used to have this really big void critter machine here, but I replaced it with Ravishin's new like void critter tablet. You can do the same exact thing plus more. You can battle void critters and do so much. Like you can buy things. I think I'm gonna do a mod review on this because it's just so cool. And I just really like the whole void critter thing. That's why he has a bunch of void critter posters up. You see, he's gonna love void critters when he grows up because he's just a cool kid, but right now he's just chilling right here no he doesn't have a place to sleep right now because he's about to age up literally tomorrow so there is absolutely no point in me like you know even getting more taller things because he's about to be a kid Zayna has this really cool thing that she can do where let me go here she can represent um her friends or people that you know she's cool with and so she actually represented johnny i think i'm gonna represent one of our other friends someone close miko ojo who's kind of like turning into like our best friend now and then i'm also gonna do some stuff to gain some fame let's go to social networking here we go update i'm gonna talk about my hubby's promotion because he's so proud of him and then saina zest has started a pr campaign to improve miko ojo's career see you see she's a good friend there's a picture that she finally got like of her dad actually showing emotion oh she's crying oh don't do this to me i'll cry i'll cry cry right now she never had pictures with her dad growing up you guys know that we never posted pictures with her and her dad he actually held ren and just looked so happy and it's so sad <laughs> it's so sad this is sad i cannot find this picture of her and her mom i might pass out if i don't find it i lost the picture of cena and her mom like the one that i hang up everywhere i think it's still at the old house i'll just put this one up instead the one where her mom is holding ren you know that's what's most important the legacy of everything you know so it's okay. Johnny's home and now Johnny can take Rosie for a walk and take her out to go poop and stuff. Rosie is just chilling. She is so cute. Who would have thought we'd have like a... <gasps> Rosie just peed in the house. She's responding to just moving. I think she's like really stressed out. Lecture about indoor potty. You never potty trained her, Johnny. What a plot twist. We have a pristine reputation. I did not cheat this up too, by the way. So just saying, she the people love her. And then we are almost going to be at our next i think rising star i think is the next rank for fame so it's rin's birthday today so we need to go ahead and get up you know and like honestly just do we have to work today because that would be very okay good we are going to cook some things i want to cook with johnny we're gonna make like some things we're gonna cook some things for the party and we're definitely gonna have some onigiri that's like some you know some little like finger foods come on johnny wake up wake up we have to cook together he's like oh yeah it's his birthday today duh oh <laughs> johnny's like it's okay babe it'll be all right where's he going no not him cooking in the bathroom no please don't i feel like he this is not what i had in mind sims when i wanted to cook together <laughs> no we're just gonna roll with it but one thing i need to do is 
bring out the water side since we haven't got a pool installed yet we can just get like a little tiny pool that the kids can kind of like play in that would still be fun i know that this is kind of like a this is an off the wall purchase but i low-key feel like johnny invested in this like he totally did right like he just off the whim just said hey let's get a jacuzzi Lauren is gonna love this it's literally fall and we are using a water slide i'm putting this long cheat in so that i can unlock the balloons it's the longest cheat ever like you literally have to like memorize it and all for these balloons oh gosh these don't even these don't even look that great oh well let's just be obnoxious and place balloons these balloons everywhere so with their birthday i'm going to use kawaii stacy's memorable events mod because if i just do a birthday party i can only invite kids that i know and we don't know a lot of kids so i'm going to use the half birthday instead there we go i just think it's better because it's just so much simpler like we can invite kids you know i want more kids than anything here orange bailey moon see <laughs> we can do that let's invite thorn you guys are gonna be so surprised but we are extending the invitation to the land grabs because it is their grandkids birthday so we have 20 people hopefully that are gonna come and i hope the like this just doesn't freak out um but let's have it at 12 p.m i think that'll give us like more than enough time <gasps> really you're making a mess on your birthday are you serious okay we're just going to we're not even gonna like discipline anyway she's just excited <laughs> look at her she's stepping in the paint is she not the best mom ever like she's not even <laughs> she's stepping literally in the paint like she could care less she's just happy that it's his birthday and she just her feet are getting so dirty but she doesn't care look at this it looks so delish it looks so good and here is the cake i'm just gonna set the cake right here for now who is this that came to the party like who are you i didn't even invite you oh <laughs> stop 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 sorry <laughs> she's the dj yes let's start the birthday party yay so we have to eat cake we're gonna age him up because i want him to have fun on the slide i want him to have the best time of his life he's in here trying to gain his skills his skills i mean again i'm playing on short lifespan so hey like for this to be where it's at, that's actually pretty good. So Johnny's mom is here and so I'm gonna do my my part and I'm going to just like introduce myself politely to her. Hi, nice to meet you, I'm Sina. Hi. We are going to ask her about her day and she's like, this is really lovely. It's nice to see Johnny living, you know, the better life. <laughs> she's like, I came here to party, so. She's no drama, she's no drama. She's actually pretty cool. Like the vibe is actually decent. It's okay right now. Come on, Rin. You ready to age up, baby? <laughs> His dad is here. Happy birthday. Ooh, we have Thorn Bailey here. Yay, happy birthday. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Come on so you can play with everyone. Ren is a mover. He likes to move around, he likes to play. So I'm gonna have him being just like active and just, you know, running everywhere. I just feel like he wants to play, travel, and just, I don't know, look at him. He even had the outdoor adventure <laughs> shirt. Like he aged up into that. Look at Johnny's parents, like, look at him. Oh, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Landgrab. Like, this is nice, no drama, everything is fine. And mom, please, please don't try to flirt with Thorne. Please don't, look at Nancy. She. We don't have a good relationship with her mom, but dad is that dad is good. So we're gonna <laughs> talk to dad. Oh my gosh, our kid is literally so sad. I feel so bad. Like he grew up and he just realized like, oh, my grandpa isn't here. Like, yo, what in the world? <laughs> That's my husband, folks, living the life. You are such a big kid. You are such a big kid, Johnny. This is so cute. <laughs> Oh, look at him. Oh, that was Alexander, not our kid. Our kid's not even having fun at the birthday party, but I am. Look at me. <laughs> this is not how I wanted the birthday to go. This is just like awful, but mom is here now. <laughs> and she literally came in here sad. I'm going to console her about the death. I wasn't able to comfort my mom when dad passed away. So it's just like, oh man, and she's funky. I gotta cheat that up. It's okay, mom. It's gonna be okay. Oh, they have a sentiment. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't seen the sentiment before. It says, friends in a time of lot friends. Like this is my mom. <laughs> Zena has formed a bond with Zajiko, the kind that can only come from the profound grief 
of death. Oh my goodness, we just got the worst news ever. It says, hi, Ren. I'm calling to let you know that your family member, Sachiko Yoshikawa, has passed away. We just saw our grandmother and she passed away. I was wondering, I was dreading when she would be going. I don't know why or who called and why Ren was the one to answer, but this is just so unfortunate. Like, we just saw her and I'm so glad we did. I'm so glad we did, but this is just awful this is awful this is so bad even though sachiko passed away i was wondering what would happen to bentley because i was ready to go get him but apparently bentley was adopted by the karaoke legends which i thought was really sweet because miko is actually part of the karaoke legends so it's almost like wow like my best friend took in the cat taka akiyuma is wondering if i want to go over his house and hang out I think somebody is missing an old thing or wants that old thing back. And I just find it very odd. <laughs> like, I think Zayna finds it quite odd, too. So Zayna actually just got off work and she is still feeling sad. She wants to fish for a compliment and she wants to teach responsibility. So I'm going to get all of that from our son. But I love how because she was such a responsible kid when she was younger, she can actually teach that now. So we're going to do that. Make sure our kid is responsible. I remember all the things that she used to do for her parents okay, and she was a really good kid. Johnny is going to order some fast food. Okay, he's going to door dash some fast food over here. If you see this, Granny's Bakery, Delivery, Komorebi Cuisine, and Hungry Pump Bobs. This is all from Little Bo Bub, who also makes the Granny's Cookbook mod that I use. Look, we're getting some mozzarella sticks. Yes, that's what Cena wants. Yeah, we're getting <laughs> getting a lot of stuff. Lonely recess. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Baby, stop being scared and ask those other kids if you can join in. <laughs> you know, like, come on. It's fast food family night. I'm going to give him a makeover in like a little bit. I'm just so lazy right now. He looks so cute. I'm not. <sighs> Look, bear with me, okay? <laughs> I'm working off limited time. He still looks cute. This is so random, but a little scary. It's like Wednesday afternoon and Johnny's mom says, hey, Zena, we'd love to have you join the book club. What do you think? And honestly, I'm just like, what is the book club? And you're in it? Like, I'm just going to say, sure, yes, because I feel low-key obligated. Like, would you turn her down? Um, welcome to the book club. I'm happy that you have decided to join our club. Um, let me see. She wants to meet at Studio PVP. She knows that's near me. Come to the lounge. We want to sing the night away. Um, I am actually at work. She's literally calling us while we're at work. So we have to like turn her down. Rain check. The book club consists of Nancy, Lily Fung. And yes, it's Fung. I've looked this up before because a lot of people say Fang. <laughs> and then Susan Monroe, um, Katrina Caliente. Like these look like very elite people. And all they do is drink. Bar drink. <laughs> this was a turn of events. I'm in a club with this mom, popular club. Ooh, let's change it to this. They haven't spent any of their club points, so let's do that. Friendship bracelets. That's kind of cute, something small. Let's just do it anyway. And, oh, we got we got a lifestyle gain. So much is happening. Sana acquired the workaholic lifestyle just like her father. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. A lot of you were like, please, let's hope Sana doesn't become a workaholic like her dad. And here she goes. She can go to work on off hours. And honestly, I think I just want to like see her do that just really quick, just because, oh my gosh, she looks so serious right now. I wanted you guys to peep the decorations for a spooky day. Um, Harvest Fest is coming up. This is a family, I feel like they look forward to spooky day. Um, that's like one of their favorite holidays. And you know, thanks to Johnny, Santa has like a whole new outlook on that. She never really celebrated spooky day like that. But once she got to the States here for some reason, she was like, yo, I love spooky day so much. So she wanted them to go all out for decorations. So <laughs> we still have the birthday balloons up. Let me take those off. So we're really going to celebrate spooky day with the family as opposed to like harvest fest. I don't think that Santa would work like too too much but i do feel like there are going to be some occasions where we are going to be working hard just to keep up with her lifestyle i don't think Sina will ever put ren or her family um what her dad like put her through as far as just never really being there since mom isn't here it looks like dad is gonna have to assist ren with his project and hope for the best let's hope for the best she could actually join in too okay cool so now she's helping too oh yay now they're both getting responsibility it's good to hear your voice Sina. i wanted to ask if i should get to know jeffrey liam grab a little better what why are you trying to get to know my husband's dad i don't know i would say i'm not sure do what you want but that's weird yay we're done with the project and 
It looks okay. Mom is back and she's helping with homework, which is amazing. I wonder what her parenting skill is. Her parenting skill is level four, which is so good. Dad is actually making some dinner. And I want her to record a product review of some beauty products. I need her to get another one of those like beauty tip videos in. This is a cute look right here. Sana doesn't need glasses. I don't want you guys to think that like her vision went bad. She just honestly wears them for fashion. Someone like me though, I need my glasses. Oh my gosh, 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 what just happened? We just had an earthquake. They're all scared, tremor, tremor, earthquake, strap everything down. That was crazy. I thought my game was glitching, but it was an earthquake. That was scary. And poor Johnny was out here trying to throw away the leaves because they ended up getting stinky. That was insane. Did you guys see a glimpse of that? Like, I don't even know what to say right now. Look who, look, look. <laughs> Why is he here? So, Taku says, hey, what's up, Sina? I noticed your name has been all the buzz lately. How do you feel about catching up? I mean, we were always friends before you made it big. Wow. I need to set up something with Anami soon to tell her, like, yo, Taku has been like calling me a lot recently you might want to handle that Sana is doing a lot of work right now she's trying to work on her videos the recent one that she's actually editing right now is a video where she's opening up about her dad that's why it's going to be titled i get my work ethic from a man i barely knew um and she's just going to talk about how i mean she has a workaholic lifestyle now and she's just going to talk about like managing oh my gosh we got a promotion what <laughs> Promoted to account executive. Yay. Oh my gosh, we got a promotion. We can persuade them to smile, rant, goof off, flirt, wear raccoon outfit. What? And where's Johnny? Aw, he's just like walking Rosie. Rosie did age up. Rosie is now an elder, so sadly she will be leaving us soon. So I'm really sad with all this aging going on. All right, let's go ahead and upload this video. And also something that is just super duper great is that Sana is now a rising star. She's literally moving up into fame and uh, she had two fame points, but I used one for her to get the influencer perk or whatever. Oh my goodness. Hey, Sana, it's me. Do you want to go out on a date? Taku, what the heck? Honestly, I'm going to go, right? And I'm going to make it the worst date ever. I know you guys are probably like, why did she take this date? Because when things ended, we never even really got to talk to him and gross where are we like why are we even here <laughs> this is where you chose to take me um okay we are at a motel and diner let's just go ahead and go to eat and honestly i'm gonna lay it on him y'all i'm just about to do a bunch of mean interactions with him because he needs to know and I, I forget talking to nanami about it i'm just gonna talk to him and just tell him to leave me alone <laughs> and basically i'm just gonna say listen i and famous now and that's really the only reason why you want to catch up with me because i have no idea why out like why you would want to you know like he's feeling flirty i'm feeling flirty but i'm not a cheater zane is not a cheater so she's going to insult him and say like you know it's really messed up because what you and anami did was messed up but i'm not messed up like what is going on with my game i could tell nanami right now that's what i wanted to do but i'm giving you like i'm sparing you right now i won't tell her that you invited me out on a date but please don't ever do it again don't call me don't do anything let's just be enemies um i'm just gonna argue with him again okay good so now he's angry instead of being flirty and the conversation is offensive and so i'm happy now i did what needed to be done i'm gonna also give him the cold shoulder and just say yeah like that's literally the only reason why i came here to just oh she is mad so today is finally spooky day, the day that we've literally all been waiting for. And I just have to do a couple of things. Collect your badge. Make sure you get it. I'm like trying to get these badges, but things were in the way. But one thing he needs to do is some good deeds. Or not good deeds, but give back. So we need to like donate some things. And I think the perfect thing for him to donate is his mom's oh he just became a griffin scout that's so cute dang he just got another promotion to unicorn scout but these onesies that <laughs> her mom which is his grandma made when she was pregnant with him yeah we need to just give those to him so that he can you know give those to charity i kind of want to give him these too we have a bunch of little capsules that we can Ooh, let's keep the middle e medieval grim um but we can donate these because you know they're just not Donate the ones that we don't uh, want. Which I think I can only donate a certain amount at a time, though, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Can he donate some more? I think he went ahead and donated. Good. So I want to have him donate some more. Let's donate the baby onesies. Such a caring kid. <laughs> Yay. Scout badge earned. So we earned <laughs> we earned some stuff. So let's go ahead and collect the give back badge, which is good. Because he'll be in scouts till he's a teen. He can work on everything else. So 
uh, as far as these other ones, maybe he'll keep them, you know? I know it is super cheesy, but Johnny is indeed a Squid Game character. It's Katrina from the book club. We invited some people from uh, the book club. <laughs> that we are in uh i could also start a gathering here just because we're here so i'm just gonna start the gathering here because that's kind of cool get some points for that um look at nancy look at nancy gosh she looks great she looks great so look at the lighting now so it looks like super cool now now that the street lights are on and everything i love this look at our spooky party <laughs> this is so cool i'm carving out pumpkins with our son this is cute he's like mom how are you gonna make a pumpkin with these nails <laughs> look watch out now i seriously don't get why katrina showed up as this but um yeah i'm not gonna question it <laughs> i want to thank everyone for coming too because it's a party i'm so excited this is so fun oh rosie really you want to walk right now when we're having the party girl you gotta wait we just walked you this morning Johnny looks so creepy in this outfit, like, doesn't he? <laughs> it looks so creepy. I love it. Jeffrey came as a pizza delivery guy. How humble. I love that. Girl, you're supposed to dress up. Sylvia or Susan. <laughs> Dang. Even Nancy dressed up. Ooh, the book club is a little bougie, but um, I'm glad I invited everyone here, you know, to have a little bit of fun. And let me go ahead and have Ren stop dancing and take his friends to go get some treats. Aw, look at them hugging. I love the relationship he has with his dad. Come on, guys. Let's go get some brownies. My mom made some brownies. Look at them following him and stuff. Aw, they're so cute. <laughs> Why aren't you guys dressed up? Like, I have a full-blown problem with that. Oh, yeah, because I didn't invite them to the party. I only invited them like a regular invite but doesn't my kid look cool so i guess we are losing another important member of our family rosie and all of our son's friends are around crying and we're crying and um we're in age up by the way a lot has happened within a day and um I, let's just go let's get past this part okay because we have a birthday to tend to and that is Santa's birthday next scene we're, we're gonna fast forward to the birthday okay i feel so bad fast forwarding today is Santa's birthday and we are having a little bit of a celebration and i know you guys see me here and you're like what is she doing here but our girl is aging up and although we have bad beef or had bad beef with nanami she just wanted to wish Santa a happy birthday you know they were childhood friends and stuff happened but as you can see we are currently at the brindleton bay yacht club which is in simlessy save so <laughs> it is definitely for the elite but we are here because of nancy Landgrab. uh we wanted to go to uh, the orchid a go go but she was just like no let's go to the brindleton bay yacht club you know so we're just here chilling our dearest husband was responsible for the cake so yes he does have the cake in here and i'm just trying to figure out where we could possibly blow the cake out at before it gets too late i definitely need her to just come in here and girl just blow out these candles <laughs> blow them out right now wait she can't oh man i can't take the cake out i ordered a cake and i cannot take it out so that kind of that kind of stinks um <laughs> i guess i guess we're just gonna have to come back here and cook something because i am not gonna not have her like not blowing out candles but this is originally like a restaurant so you can't order food but i don't see anybody here um but let me just go ahead and oh my gosh Sana, she's like you only live once she is literally in freezing cold water <laughs> so ren is out of school now so i can actually bring him here which is cool and he is he is so cute i gave him a little tiny makeover i know it just i I just had to give him the flippy teen hair, okay? I just had to, I couldn't help it. Let's go, Sana, let's go. Woohoo, we even have another senior citizen cheering us on right now. It is time to say goodbye to the adult phase and hello retirement. <laughs> even though we're gonna keep working, we are gonna keep working. Um, because she's only at level eight in her career. She actually got another promotion um, off cam, so that was kinda cool. But we're gonna keep working until we like fully get her up there and wait. Why didn't she age up? <laughs> she didn't age up. Let's try it again. I don't know what happened. Everyone's still gone. Oh, here she goes. And she's aging up. Yay. Zena has aged up. Welcome Frosty Locks. And honestly, normally I hide the way she looks when she's an elder, but I just can't. I have to include this gorgeous soul. <laughs> like I love how she just still looks so so bomb like look how gorgeous she is oh i love her well Zena's is officially an old person 
and we need to retire we need to work really hard i think i'm gonna do that off cam and i am also going to prepare ren for college johnny ages up tomorrow why does it say she has a birthday on monday uh i'm confused i gotta fix my game we are going to proceed with the last and final episode on the next part i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep stemming always 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 uh stay wavy and uh, i will see you in the next video Alrighty, peace out